In this video, we are going to discuss about Rapid Panning 3 protocol which is RSTP version 802.1W here. So what is Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol? As we discussed in the previous videos about the port fast, uplink fast and the backbone fast theory that which are added by Cisco because since they are added by Cisco, they are the own property of the Cisco switches only and they only work on Cisco switches. And coming to the next step that the one big difference between 802.1D for spanning tree protocol and 802.1W for rapid spanning tree is that there are lesser number of port states. As we have discussed about the port states there, so we have 5 port states in 802.1D in spanning tree, but here it will become only 3 port states here. So you see, we know that 5 states in 5021D, RSTP only has 3 states where the disabled blocking and learning states will come under the discarding state here. So you see the list here, if you find this list, you see dot 1D port states has disabled blocking, listening, learning and forwarding here. But here dot 1W port states discarding, 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 learning and forwarding here. So what, what exactly the port is active or what exactly the MAC addresses is learned, we will be seeing here that for the disabled state and discarding state, the port is not active and MAC address is not learned here. In the same way blocking and discarding state, the port is not active and MAC address is also not learned here. So coming to the listening state in dot 1W port, you see it is in a discarding state, even though it is a discarding state, you see the port is active but the MAC address is not learned. So in the same way if you see for learning and forwarding, you see the port is active as well as MAC address is learned in the port fast state here. So similar to traditional spanning tree, RSTP also elects the root bridge using the same parameters as the SS STP and you see how the STP elects the root bridge, the same way RSTP also does the same by using the parameters and port will be elected as a root and designated port accordingly based on the parameters what the root bridge is selected here. So if you see here clearly, you get two ports here, one is alternative port and other one is a port. So alternative port is that provides an alternative path. So this path is less desirable than the root port, but this is this will be active as and when the root go root port goes down here. So when the root port goes down, this alternative port come into picture and this will be acting as a acting root port, but this is not much desirable when you have a root port active. So you see about the port, this is the port that provides a redundant path to the network segment, but the path is less desirable than the one which is having with the designated port. So that we have a designated port and a port here. So designated port is reliable when compared to this port, but when the designated port is gone down, this port is used as a redundant path here. So you see that this is a root bridge and this is a root port and this is a root port and also you see the link here, this is an alternative port link here. So when this designated port, this side you have a designated port connected to the back port and that designated port is connected to this back port. So whenever this root bridge is down, you take an alternative port here to connect to each in between. But this is not desirable, this is only desirable, this way is desirable here. So we use this alternative paths in the network segment to provide the connection or to provide the online for the ports to pass through the traffic here. So you see RSTP is a backward compatible when you compare with the 1.1D STP. If a switch actually with the STP discovered that new feature has uplink fast enabled. That means if you see the switch has a STP enabled and uplink fast enabled and it will not be you it will not be using the uplink fast here. It will be only using the backbone fast. So if you can see how to configure the RSTP, you can see here it with the syntax switch in the configuration mode when you enter spanning tree mode rapid PVST. So this is the command we use to configure the rapid PVST and if you want to see how this rapid PVST is configured then you have to enter a syntax called show VLAN 0005 as we are using VLAN 0005 show rapid spanning tree VLAN 0005 here and this is all about the RPST.